Hello, it's Susan McDonald, and um, I've been talking to a few people over the last couple weeks about selling and how selling makes people feel icky. If you haven't done sales before, you're kind of uncomfortable with that. It feels awkward to give out a price. And leave a comment if this, uh, if you identify with any of this. That's selling makes you feel icky, or just say me or whatever. So. Um, if selling makes you feel uncomfortable and putting a price out there and feeling like you're trying to pressure someone and you're feeling like that cheesy used car salesman, um, make a comment below. Um, anyway, so I have some ideas for you that can help you get over that icky feeling and it really has to do with headset. So the number one tip to overcome that icky feeling of like, oh God, I'm a cheesy salesperson, like, oh, or I sound like a cheesy salesperson. But the thing that you need to focus on is instead of thinking of yourself as, um, oh, I'm trying to sell someone, or I hate being a salesman, think of yourself as a guide. If you, and, and, and identify yourself to your prospective client as a guide. And uh, when you set the table with them, uh, either in person, talking to them live over Skype or Zoom, or in the communication and via email or commenting on social media, um, it takes the pressure off. Both yourself and the client is, the word is, let me be your guide. How can I help you? Let me be your guide. And when you put it like that, Again, it's gonna take the pressure off yourself and off your client, and that way people are more free, the client is more free to share information on what he or she is looking for. So that's the big, my big tip here today is think of yourself as a guide, no matter what you're selling, physical product, a service, whatever, when you position yourself as, oh, you know, you're possibly thinking of buying, um, buying some jewelry well let me be your guide or you're thinking of buying some uh, um, some writing uh, for your business services let me be your guide tell me what you're looking for and get the customer talking first get her to give you some information about what she might be thinking of is she or is there a particular issue and then once you start learning about your customer you can better position your what you're selling um, and pitch that back to the client. Um, there's a little secret that I learned years ago in selling. Um, when you get to the point that maybe you're trying to close someone, so maybe I'm, I've actually got two topics going here, but use the headset, let me be your guide. That's gonna take the pressure off in all of your selling. And one really good way to get some information out of a client after you've gotten a conversation going uh, about you know what she's looking for and um, what problem she's trying to solve or what kind of thing she's looking for to decorate her living room. Um, once you have some ideas and a price range and where she's at right now and how you might be able to help her, then you can start asking her things like, you know, what are the three, here's the trick question. It's not really a trick because I don't want you guys thinking like, no, I've set you up to like be a guide and now I'm telling you, but here's a trick. It's not really a trick, but it works really well. This is how you can really get the most important things that your customer is looking for, for your particular product or service. Ask them, what are the three most important things you're looking for in say uh, a bracelet, um, a whole new bed, bed set, um, looking for um, a fitness coach, ask them, what are you looking for? And they're going to tell you, well, I'm looking for someone who is really, if she's looking, if you're, if she's looking for um, a fitness coach, she might say, um, well, I'm really looking for someone who understands the importance of food as well as working out. So, um, and then she might say, well, I'm looking for someone who is really has lots of recommendations and is really thought of highly in the community. And then third, um, someone who's just fun to work with. So she's told you the three things that she's looking for. Now what you're gonna do is think about what you offer and you're actually gonna regurgitate this back to her and tell her, well, I have fantastic referrals. Um, I'm also really interested in food and I have you know, some great recipes and some great websites that I can refer to you. Oh, or, or I have, that's one of my bonuses that I have. Or it's I have recipes once a week on my blog. You know, that's when you can start leveraging what you have and just spit it back out at the customer 
and tell her um, these are you know you've you've mentioned this this and this here's how I can help you and I'm hitting all three things and then you can say would you agree with that so then you're getting her in yes mode so of course hopefully she'll say well yeah and then you could say well if I can help you with this this and this would you be interested in going forward and she would say well yeah and then you can you know send a pitch well I actually have a promotion going right now if you sign up by the end of the month we can you know I can get you started on September 1st so um, I think I filled in a lot here for you guys but I just want to talk about selling and taking some of that icky ickiness off but it's about conversation it's about thinking about yourself as a guide and ultimately you want to create the best experience possible for your clients so finding out more about her and from that approach of being her guide, asking her questions, what are you thinking of, what are you looking for, what do you have in mind, it's also going to help her, help you uh, help her not have to spend hours and hours and hours trying to solve her problem or search the internet. If she's got you there, um, she, you can help her cut to the chase. You're going to help her save time and say, well listen, I've been doing this for three years, this is how I can help you. There's some people in this league out here, or there's somebody who does that and that and that. Um, and in some cases, you actually might know someone who's a better fit. And in that case, you can make a decision. And I do this sometimes. I might say, you know what? Actually, what you're looking for and trying to solve, I'm not the best suited person for that. And people will respect that and remember that so much. Say, you know what? My friend over here does specializes in this, this, and this. I think she's a better fit for you. So um, again, it's about having conversation and um, thinking of yourself as a guide. It makes it easier on you. It makes it better for the client, a better client experience. And you're going to be able to learn about what she's looking for, what problem she's trying to solve. And then once you know that, um, you can pitch back to her in an authentic, honest um, way about how you can help her. And that's when you can start kind of narrowing her down is getting her in yes mode and saying things like, well, if I can help you lose those 20 pounds um, in three months, would you be interested? Yes. Would you like to, would you like to look better in, in your clothes and make it more fun to shop? Yes. I just lost 27 pounds of Weight Watchers, so that's why I'm also kind of going with this example. Anyway, um, so the main point, if you learn nothing else from today's live, think of yourself as a guide. In your head, be a guide. Ask questions. Find out what your customer's thinking. What are her concerns? What's she looking for? Get the dialogue going. Ask her open-ended questions. Do not ask her questions with a yes or no. Um, open-ended questions. So. Um, that's my tip for the day. Let me know if you guys have questions. Share this out with anyone else who feels icky about selling. Share this out and uh, you guys can always go to my website and get my um, top 10 secrets for a highly converting homepage. Thanks for joining in. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.